free fall. So why hasn't the election focus been on jobs? Let's ask Romney campaign surrogate, former New Jersey, New Hampshire, almost said New Jersey, <laughs> New Hampshire Governor John Sununu. Welcome Christy, back, Governor. You got Christie on the brain. He's given the yet. key though tonight. <laughs> so, so, Governor, we're not talking that much about jobs. We are talking about jobs. The, it's, it's the media that's obsessed with Mother Nature. This is a jobs campaign. 8.3% unemployment, 25 million Americans underemployed or, or unemployed, and, and college graduates, half of them can't find decent jobs for each of the last four years. It is jobs. But you have been, uh, you have to admit, for the last week it's been Medicare, and we've been talking a lot about that. No one could help with, if there's a storm coming. we got to talk about that, correct? But it is jobs. Governor Romney's focusing on jobs. Governor Romney's the guy to fix the jobs problem. But yet, here, here's the thing. The president says, hey, I put out a jobs plan last year, to last fall, 2011. They won't pass it. This president hasn't even met with his jobs council in the last seven months. Fifteen rounds of golf, zero jobs council. If he only played nine holes one day, he would have had time to go and see him. Well, Governor, uh, the fact is the president, uh, the governor right now, Governor Romney, has all the business experience. He actually has a, a positive experience when it comes to the economy in Massachusetts. But yet, look at this poll and tell me if it makes sense to you. When the American people are asked about the economy and who is more trusted or better handling the economy, it's a, it's a slight edge to Mitt Romney. How does he lengthen that edge? How does he make the message, hey, I'm the business guy that has the experience, and why hasn't, why hasn't it resonated yet? What you have in a campaign is a tempo and a timing. And I said yesterday, it's like a basketball game. In basketball, it's the last two minutes. In a presidential campaign, it's the last two months. Today starts the, the beginning of that cycle, and you are going to see what I will call a carpet bombing set of messages coming out of the governor and the, R, and the RNC and uh, the Romney campaign. So, uh, I mean, we looked at Forbes. Forbes said, here's some suggestions how to get the economy online and give the message to the business community. They said, the NLRB, get your uh, foot off the throat of Boeing for moving to South Carolina. They Romney say, said that throughout the South Carolina campaign and throughout the primary. Stop mandating uh, ethanol go into gasoline. Romney said that when he went into a country where it was even unpopular to be safe. Release the leases on these federal lands to drill. He put that into his plan in the speech in New Mexico. Stop, ta stop attacking coal and making it a bad thing when it means solid so part of the speech in New Mexico and what we've been saying in Pennsylvania and Ohio and West Virginia. And, you, and I've heard you say it before and you say that that message is going to come out clearer and crisper because you release some strategy to us over the next few months. That's correct. All right, let's move on to what's going to be happening tonight. You're going to be giving uh, the nominating uh, speech tonight about 15 minutes. What are you going to be saying? It's only going to be about three, four minutes. It's a short speech. I, I just officially put the governor's name uh, into play. I remind people people uh, why it's important to save America today. Right. And then and we're going Mitt to... Mitt Romney's the guy. And then we're going to have Ann Romney uh, give a speech. The word is she is going to humanize him, start from childhood up to through their marriage. Well, I'm not sure if the right phrase is humanize him. I find this guy to be uh, a, a really warm, good person that maybe Ann's got to convey that message. And then peel the paint with Governor Christie? Uh, I think there'll be a little blowtorch in the, in, in the speech uh, at the beginning, but I think Governor Christie's going to give a broad speech, a little bit of, of uh, uh, outlining why we have a problem today and certainly underscoring why Mitt Romney's the right guy. And I'm sure he'd be very comfortable in his own skin. Now, i got to ask you about cabinet. Some of the main players behind the scene, you've right. been one. I've told you that uh, before. I thought you've been outstanding, whether people agree with you or not. You're outstanding on his record. Uh, number two, have Dan Senor on foreign policy. Let's look at the cabinet that... As it could take shape. You're behind the scenes with the sleeves rolled up, <laughs> with the whiteboards up there coming up with strategy. Name some men and women I'm that. I'm naming no one. Come I'm going on. to tell you, I'm going to tell you, though, the kinds of people he's going to find. Okay. He's going to find somebody America will know and remember. President Obama's had this phantom cabinet that you can't name five of. Well, he's pro czar. He stuffed the, the, the White House with 37 to 40 czars. The dumbest thing a president has ever done, exceeded only by some of the things that he did after that. You can't have everybody in charge, and then all of a sudden you result in nobody in charge. He undercut his cabinet, he undercut the departments. Mitt Romney's not going to do that. And real quick, if you can name a name or two that impressed you when they talk about the economy, because you're somebody who was chief of staff of President Bush 41 during a recession then, and you guys came out of it in nine months. Mitt, Ryan, uh, Mitt Romney, Paul Ryan, and uh, frankly, all the governors that he's had at sur as surrogates. Bob McDonald, John Kasich, uh, uh, former Governor Haley Barber,
former Governor Mitch Daniels, uh, Bobby Jindal. These guys all understand how to manage a big government bureaucracy, and they have worked to reduce the size of government and get it off the backs of their businesses in their states, their ideal choices for almost anyone.